Good morning, everybody. Blessings. Hallelujah and glory to our great God. This is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. We are going to uh, give a few moments for you all to come on. Thank you for sharing. As soon as you come, I'm waiting on my... Um, Oh, there I got a I got a notification. Hopefully y'all got one too. Good morning, Sister Janet. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna give you all a few minutes to pop on. And um we're going to um get started. Good morning. Hey everybody. Good morning, Sister Linda. God bless you. We're just grateful for the blessings of the Lord that are upon us. You know, I was uh, getting ready. Hey Doris! Good morning. Tell your husband hello. God bless you. Hey, Lisa Gray. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sandra Wansley. I did good. I did do good, I said. Good morning, Sister Brandy. Hey, y'all. All right. Good morning, everybody. Missionary Green, blessings to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, as uh, Pastor Brent says. Good morning, Grace for Today family. Blessings to each and every. Good morning, Missionary Quinn. I am eternally grateful. Good morning, Tracy Green Brown. Blessings to all of you. May the favor of God be upon you. I was reading this morning and reminded myself, and remind, I'm going to remind you, the favor of God is on you. The favor of God is on you. The healing power of God is on you. Healing is the children's bread. And who are we? We're the children of God. We're the people of God. Just because our seasons change don't mean that the favor of God changed. Doesn't mean that he changed. He just changed our strength. The Bible says we go from strength to strength. We may change our strength. Good morning to the Inslees. We know that God remains faithful. The season may change, but God remains the same. Good morning to the Rubens. Blessings. Hey, Sister Patricia, let's get started. So we've been talking about uh, David. We've been to, I have been talking about David this morning, actually preparing for another uh, assignment. But this morning we're talking about, talking about Joseph. And uh, good morning, Mother Roby. Good morning. All right. So we've been talking about Joseph, and yesterday we left off where Joseph was being thrown into the prison, and the scripture tells us in Genesis 39, verse 21, I want to go right there, Genesis 39, verse 21, and uh, it says to us, it says, uh, and which is kind of, we think that sometimes when bad things start happening in our lives, that somehow God is not there with us. That somehow it can't be God. It must be that uh, God has forgotten us or he's forsaken us. But really sometimes it's that like Job's life where God's already testified about you. And he's just bringing us uh, into a place where we can receive greater. Where the enemy will be defeated and God will get the glory. God gets the glory. So stay the course. We need to be sure that we're not just playing church, that we really are the church. We really are the church. His hand really is upon us for good. His hand really is upon us for good. All right. So you thank you all for sharing. God bless you. Thank you for that. Um, let's, uh, I want to go ahead and look right here. It says, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of of the keeper of the prison. Now, we understand clearly that wherever Joseph went, there was favor. Now, he might not have expected it. It didn't look like it. It wasn't what he thought it was going to be, but it's clear that the favor of God was on his life. The favor of God, beloved, just because your season change does not mean that God's hand isn't on you for good. He will still cause you, as I was listening to the man of God this morning, he will cause you to be the head and not the tail. I ain't got no tail favor on me. I'm not called to be the tail, T-A-I-L. I am called to be the head. 
I may not be uh, the leader of everything, but he ain't called me. I got the I got the favor to be the head. He's called me to be the head and not the tail. The favor of God is on me to be the head and not to be to be the tail. To be above only and not to be beneath. To be the head and not the tail. To be above only and not beneath. He said, I'm going to bless you going out and coming in. That's the word of God. That's the favor on my life. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I just know about Edna Jameson. Because I'm going to believe God's word. He said, I'm going to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. He said, I'm going to bless you going out and coming in. Now, I got to live right. But that's the promise. That's the promise. That's the promise. I don't know where Annie Ingram is. I can't lean in. What's going on? We we must remember that God's work. Exactly. Missionary Wolfolk. He said, I'm going to be a lender and not a borrower. He tells me what his word says. His word is what I'm going to agree with. Yes, there, may, there were days I had to borrow, but that was a season. He, he's going to cause me to be the one that's going to have enough where my cup runs over. I'm looking for them days of running over. Where my cup runs over. Runs over. That I have more than enough. That I have excess. That I don't have to worry about when the pastor asks for, for um, what do you call them? Super givers. I remember what he called it. Super seeds. Good morning, Mother Ethel Newton. Uh, those super givers. I want everybody who can, 10 people to give $200 during the revival. That ain't no problem. Here's my check. And it won't bounce. We need to be the ones who are expecting to be able to give when it's asked. We shouldn't be the ones training. All right, Sister Annie Ingram. God bless you. We we need to be the ones who are who I was about to say who are leaning in. I'm about to lean in. We should be the ones who should have expecting to have more, expecting abundance, expecting favor. If I ain't got the two hundred, I'm gonna give him a fifty and say, God, here's my seed. Here's my seed on my two hundred. Cause one day it won't be no problem. One day I'll be able to give that without a problem, but I'm gonna give what I can, and I'm, this is my this is all this is my down payment on what I can give. This is my down because I'm expecting the favor of God. I'm expecting the favor of God. I'm expecting increase at my house. I'm expecting increase at my house. My address. I'm looking for increase. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I remember the lean times. Yes, I do. When I have a five dollars left after pay period, after payday, I remember the lean times. But I know God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I ain't talking about just money. I'm just saying what God does, he will cause favor to come upon your life. He will cause favor to come upon your life. Now, you might have to live within your means. You should do that anyway, because that's what good stewards do. Let me get back to Joseph, because I've been went somewhere else. All right. Here. Let's get this. Let's get this. He did show up. Here. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of of the keeper of the prison. I got to get done. I got to move on. And the keeper of the prison, the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand. Here you have Joseph, Joseph rising to the head, leading. The favor was on him. Here, the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph, Joseph's hand, all of the prisoners that were in the prison and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. Joseph was the was the head at the prison. He was the head at Potiphar's. Now he is the head at the prison. Potiphar's wife thought this would cripple, handicap, crush Joseph. Remember what the enemy thinks was going to destroy you. He thinks it's going to destroy you. God will turn that thing around and cause you to excel. 
Glory to our great God. It will cause you to excel. What's that song? Uh, only God can do it. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. When we make God, that's it, Evangelist Gwen. When we seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, all the other stuff. The stuff that the, the world worries about. What we're going to wear, what we're going to eat, how we're going to do this, how we're going to look, all that stuff. He orders our steps. He makes a way for us in the wilderness. He, he makes me the head and not the tail. He gives me favor. I need to get through with this. I think I need to. I don't know that I will, but I'm going to try. So the keeper of the prisoner, prison, even gave Joseph privilege. He got favor even in prison where he was supposed to be crushed where he was supposed to be destroyed, where he should have been. Uh, remember, the thing was this. He went from the pit to Potiphar's. Now he's in the prison, but wherever he went, he excelled. Wherever he went, he rose to the top. Wherever he went, God graduated him. God caused whatever his hands did to prosper. Don't take your eyes off God when you're going through. That's it. You got to still have a yes to God. Ah, woo, bless God. You got to still have a yes to God. So no matter what, Paul said, I've learned in whatever situation I'm in to be content. I've got to be content with Jesus. If all I've got is a bag of rice, I'm going to be content. If all I've got, now, nah, you know, I know what it's like. If all I've got is a, a loaf of bread and some bologna, not bologna, bologna. I know how to be content. Here, he said, and the keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him, Joseph. And that which he, Joseph, did, the Lord made it to prosper. The hand of God was on Joseph. Whatever Joseph did prospered. And you can't get no better than that. Can't get no better than that. Whatever Joseph did prospered. Beloved, that's what I want. I know that's what you want in your life too. Whatever you do, with everything, you know, you're not going to do ungodly stuff and think it's going to prosper. But whatever you do, you want you want God to prosper it. You, you may say, well, Sister Edna, I don't see prosperity happening around my life. Check your season. Then you need to get in God's face. Check your season. And get in God's face. Check your season. Get in God's face. Check your season. This might be the planting season. During a planting season, the, the seed is put in the ground. And it's covered up. The isolation is not for your destruction. It's going to be for your promotion. You got to check your season. Joseph had seasons where he, I ain't got time to do that part, but I'm just saying we need to know our season and trust God in that season. Listen, I need to give a shout out. I haven't seen him on yet. Good morning, Felicia. Blessings. Love you back. I haven't seen him yet, but I know today. Derek, Derek Williams, you know, that's right. Right. Amen. Today is Elder Elder Clarence Ingram's birthday. I haven't seen him on, but I know he's going to hear this. So happy birthday, Elder Ingram. He is a blessing to grace for today. Has been for years. The favor of God looks good on him. 
I praise God for him. I praise God for him being a blessing to this ministry. And I just thank him so much. I praise God. I wrote a scripture for him because I want to make sure that he understands and you all understand that he's a blessing to us. The scripture says, and I said this only because I found the scripture because he has favor, but the scripture says in Proverbs 18, 22, whoever findeth a wife finds a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. He found a wonderful wife. You know, any Ingram, there he is. Oh, just quiet. Don't be quiet today just because it's your birthday. I praise God for the Ingrams. They are such an encouragement to me personally and to this ministry. God bless Elder Clarence Ingram and his lovely wife, Sister Annie Louise Ingram. God bless you all. God bless you, Elder Ingram. Thank you so much for the words of encouragement and for your giving. Praise God for you. I appreciate you. And may the favor of God continue to rest upon you for this next chapter of your life. All right. I'm going to pray while y'all give him some birthday love. God bless you. Father, I thank you so much for what you're doing in us. Thank you for the favor of God on our lives. Thank you so much that you love us and you care about us. And the Lord, even during our dark seasons, your hand is upon us for good. We trust you that wherever we are, whatever we're doing, you cause your people to be the head and not the tail. Let us not be frustrated when we're the head in a dark place. Even as Joseph was in prison, his gift still worked. Help us to let our gift still work. Still work, still work. Even when it looks like it ought not work, let our gift work for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said our gift will make room for us and bring us before great men. Let it continue to work. Open doors before us that no man can close. Let everything the enemy meant for evil, let it produce good in the name of Jesus. We thank you even now, dear God, that your hand is working it out. Father, let whatever we do, let it prosper. Let it prosper. Let increase come to us in the name of Jesus. We receive it even now and we bless your excellent name. Let healing be our bread today. Heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our wounded spirits, heal us from the inside out and let us not carry grief and burdens into this day. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength. We receive it even now in Jesus' name. So it is. Amen. All right, everybody. My time is way gone. I appreciate you. Blessings to everybody. We thank God for every one of you. I pray that the word of God's blessed you and um, continue to do the things. Hey, Linda, God bless you. Hey, don't y'all forget to share the video. Type in catch the replay. Hashtag. Right. I ain't got that tail anointing. Maddie Marie Reed, I don't have that tail anointing. I got that anointing to be the head. He's called you to be the head and not the tail. Let's be the head. Let's be prepared to be the head. All right, time is gone. Hey, don't y'all forget, share the video, type in, catch the replay. Hashtag graced for today. Join me. I'll upload this to YouTube very shortly. Um, y'all pray for somebody else. Call their names. If you don't know their name, just say those people on grace for today. Your prayers matter. Pray for someone. They don't have to be anything wrong. Everything can be right. We just need to be righter. I know that's not a word, but it can be better. It can be better. Pray blessings over somebody. Just pick out somebody. I don't know. Eunice Berry, pray for her. In his presence, Gwen, pray for her. Maddie Marie Reed, I don't know. Pray for them. Janet Hospital, pray for them. Pray for me. Pray what you want to happen in your life. Pray it over somebody else's life and watch God move. God does it. All right. Hey, join me Monday morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget, if you're available, join me online right here on my church's homepage as well for Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning. We're going to be talking about purity, the purity of the Holy Spirit. It's an interesting lesson. Y'all bring your notebook and your Bible. I've got questions already written out. 
All right, this is an interactive Sunday school. And yes, we're having revival on this coming week, 7 p.m. each night. Uh, we'll, it'll be live. Um, it'll be live online. Of course, we'll be sharing it on Grace for Today. Um, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m., our speaker will be Bishop Dickerson Wells. You don't want to miss it. Service will not be long, so don't be coming on at 9, 30, 10 o'clock thinking you're going to catch a live. You won't. We'll be gone by then, hopefully, anyway. But listen, the power of God will be present. We're expecting a mighty move of God, souls to be saved, lives to be changed. So join us and invite somebody to join you. Don't watch alone. Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Sunday school, 10 a.m. worship. If you're at your own church, don't be at our church. Be at your church. All right. So don't forget, if you can, join us for Sunday school right here online. If not, uh, Monday morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. Until then, remember this. Time spent in the Word of God is never wasted. And you have been graced for today. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.